Hey, I think it's working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. Hello, everyone. We. I am back with Gracie. Once again, she has the giggles. Um, Gracie, today is a very special day today. It is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this episode is the one year anniversary of the podcast. It is? It start yes, it started one year ago, oh, cool. more or less today. So to celebrate, I'm going to take a lick of a candy cane. Ah, delicious. All right. <laughs> wow, what a great <laughs> what, what celebratory. A, what a great celebration we have going on here. Yeah, a lick of a candy cane. Yep. Um, did, did you want one? No, no, I just looked up that. Don't. don't. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, tell the people on the podcast you got the audio of this, but we're trying something a little different. And if you go to the Cozy Christmas YouTube channel, there might just be video, or there might not be. And it might be a good video, or it might be really awful. Who, who's gonna be able to tell? Let me get my computer. Oh, there's the mop. Okay. I guess that's as good as we're going to get. And welcome our special guest, the kitchen uh, mop. Yes. <laughs> um, so I wanted to try out some snacks on this episode today, especially the chocolate turtle brownies. But there's a slight problem with those. <laughs> we ate them all. We ate them all. <laughs> uh, in the story that was on in this episode... Chocolate or chocolate turtle brownies play a very important role. Um, although you haven't listened to the story yet, you should, I'll, I'll have to make sure you listen to it. It's good. Okay. Um, anyway, and uh, so in our story, Krista McGrin was able to bring Christmas cheer to everyone by sharing Christmas joy and chocolate turtle brownies, and we had some. They were delicious. Yeah, probably the best brownies I've ever eaten. Yeah. So good job. Yeah, yeah. I just followed the recipe. So, but they turned out really, really good. Um, I mean, if they didn't make my stomach hurt, I just eat a whole pan. Yeah, yeah. I'll have the recipe. I'll share with you guys. And if you make them, let me know how they turn out. But they turned out so good. They were really good. Just really unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we also tried mince pies, and I can share the recipe with you right now. First of all, you go to Amazon, you order mince pie filling, and then you go to the store and you buy pre-made crust and then you just make them. <laughs> okay. That's what I did. <laughs> uh, did you like those? Did you like the mince pies? They, not as good as the turtle brownies. Yeah. In my opinion, but I they mean. Were, they were okay. Yeah, they were okay. I mean, they, they were bad. They were bad. Yeah. They were I don't know. I, they just kind of remind me of apple pies, but I think they'd be better if they were like homemade and not just like filling from the store and like you made them homemade. I think they'd yeah, be better. Yeah, the, the homemade process but, looked complicated. But yeah, we don't got time for that. We have stuff to do. So. <laughs> That's right. Called we sitting in our chair drinking we, coffee. We don't have time for that. Yes, oh, hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We probably have plenty of time for that. But. No, it, it did look kind of weird. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want to try that. I just bought filling, and I, I thought it, it was good. Like I remember taking a bite of mincemeat pie when I was a kid, and it was the grossest thing I had ever put in my mouth. <laughs> and I used to eat dirt. Oh, um, so actually, well, me and my like friends, it. but we would we used to when we were little, we would play like baking outside, and we would mix tea with water, or not tea, sorry, dirt with water, and we would call it tea. Hmm. And one time. Me and my friend were drinking it, and we were like, yum, this is good. Oh, <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> it basically, like, and then when we would finish all the water, there would just be a giant dirt pile on the bottom that was probably mm. mud at that point, mm -hmm. but we would literally just drink it like it was a soda pop, and we would be like, yum, this is good, and I think about that now, I'm like... Yeah, hey, that's gross. That's, that's, that's disgusting. That's gross, that's gross. <laughs> um, although some people would say tea is basically just muddy water. But we don't like those people. So, <laughs> uh, alrighty. Uh, so yeah, we tried the mince. So we tried mince pie, and I tried to make them like they would in in England, where it's a, a fruity mixture in the middle. There's little. There, there. I, I made them in little cupcake pan things, and so they're smaller, more bite sized And I liked them, but. You know, wasn't crazy about them. They mm -hmm. smelled amazing when they were cooking, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying because I really want to like mince pies. 
and I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So, all right. Well, today's main segment here, uh, Gracie is going to share a few of her her fuzzy friends with us. So we we talk about her bear friends all the time. You actually are, and hence the video. You're actually going to be able to see some of them. Oh, mm. hello there. <laughs> <laughs> so for those listening uh, on the podcast, you can watch the video too if you like, or we'll try to describe them. But um, this is going to be more of a visual thing. And uh, she's going to see if I can try to keep track of all the names of the bears she brought down. And these are not all of my bears. These oh. are just a small portion. I have lots and lots and lots, but... Obviously, we can't go through all of them. Otherwise, this episode would be like three hours long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I gave full descriptions of like all eighty or whatever, I, I can't even. Remember exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, but... let's let's get started here. Okay. So I will have you name this one. Who is all right. this? Hold this guy up. Hold Who's him that? in front of the camera. There he is. Hello. Um. <laughs> Who is this? Uh oh, I'm already forgetting. Don't tell me. Happy. His yes, name is Happy. This is Happy. Um, it's pretty clear why I chose this name. Look at his giant smile. It's so cute. Um, I got him a couple months ago. Um, and Where did we get him from? Mom. Mom mm. gave him to me. Because um, I was struggling to sleep at night and I just needed someone to cuddle. So mm, um, right. that's why. But I'm fine now. But um, I think he's really cute. And <laughs> yeah, he's, so he's happy. He's happy. Yes. Right. Also, for some reason, a lot of my bears are boys. I don't know why. I, I just, I, I don't know why, but they are. Well, boys are more um, cuddly than girls are. Okay, you know what? That didn't come out the way I wanted it to, <laughs> so never mind. Mom, if you're watching this. <laughs> so this one is actually from a fan. Who yes, is... um, Silvana, I think is, was her name. Is her yes. name. Still so is. This yes. is... <laughs> this is Stripey, um, but he's one of, I don't want to say favorites, but he's definitely one of my really more special ones, mm -hmm. and I think he's a cute, I love his nose, and I just love his little ears. Um, I picked the name Stripey because he looks like, um, he's very Stripey, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I think his name had something to do with, like, his name is supposed to be Zag or something, and I didn't really like that, so I just named him Stripey, and I think it's an adorable name so mm -hmm. i like his floppy limbs here <laughs> i'm on a hey, tv hey, don't do that, don't do that. Okay. okay um i'm gonna put this one okay this is one of the bears my dad gets mixed up all the time he literally forgets in five seconds despite i tell him multiple times a day this is this this is this this is this so who is this um <laughs> he already forgot it's Phil. No, this Gu is Gus. 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 <laughs> this is it's Gus. Gus. I yes, knew it. This is... Hi, Gus. So I got Gus at um, a couple months. We took a trip to one of our favorite amusement parks called Adventureland, and we were there. And we went into the gift shop and found this little dude. Well, he's got a big belly. Uh, his muzzle is so big you can't see his eyes unless you tilt him down which is what i really love about him <laughs> and his nose is so big and he sounds like this mm -hmm. hoo, 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 hello hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> hey don't hit the microphone this is expensive <laughs> equipment it cost me tens of dollars <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is one of the many ones my dad mixes up as you can see who is this um Gu <laughs> gus yes gus yes, okay there you go okay wow. i'm, I'm take the ones I already did. I don't want to redo them by oh. accident. Um, this little guy has actually a bit of a story. Oh, um, yes. There is a story behind I know he George. isn't a Christmas bear, but his name is George because I named him after George Washington because he's very patriotic. I'm going to put him close up and I want, um, you can see this little stitch line. So He's got a scar on his belly from here's the story stem with to stern. George. I was going into my ELP class, Extended Learning Program class, for school, and I noticed on my teacher's table just this little dude with, laying down like this, all his stuffing piling out of him, and I went up to my teacher, his name is Mr. Thornock, he's awesome, um, hmm. He and I was like, what did you do to him? I was like devastated. I mean, I wasn't crying or anything. I was just like, what did you do to this guy? And I'm like, he's like, oh, I needed stuffing for something. And I was like, 
you couldn't have gotten a bag of stuffing or something from the store. And so I told him, you know, I need to fix this guy or I need someone to fix this guy for me. So my friend Bella from school, it took her a long time because she was a busy kid, but she eventually got to her grandma's house and sewed this little dude up and then gave him back. But, oh my word, that was terrible. I just walked in seeing this adorable little bear like, on his back, stuffing piling out of him. So that was terrifying. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was sad. Like, walking in and seeing somebody's guts all tore out. But, yeah, yeah that's the story <laughs> behind him. And now I named him George, so, yeah, I think yep. I already said that. So yep. It's fine. Here, I'm just going to put you guys on the floor. All right. So. so this has been easy so far. So you know the name of this one. Okay. Um, yeah, this one. This is very... um. This is a bear I've had since I was a little tiny baby, just a couple months old. Mm -hmm. His name is Bear. <laughs> yep. Um, you can see he's very well loved. Um, he's one of my most favorite bears ever because he's very special. I sleep with him every night, which sounds kind of like a toddler thing, but no, no uh, Yeah. <laughs> but, um... So I got, I think we got him at like a 4th of July parade or something, or like just some kind of parade when I was really little, but... Yeah, I don't remember what parade it was, but it uh, might have been Labor Day even. Well, no, maybe, maybe it was 4th of July. I, I really don't know, Because you were pretty, pretty little, I was, so... I was born in April, yeah. and then that was 4th of, like, I think it was in 4th of July, so I was not even two months old yet. And this little guy became mine, so I think He's... originally he was one of my brothers, but then my mom made them give him no, see, or something like that. But... I'm pretty sure it was the, the backup one that, of him that was one of your brothers. And then, yeah, my brother had to give it to me. So or if I lost, yeah. if I lost this one, you'd have a spare. We've had a spare, but I basically loved this one, and then just was like whatever about the other one. So mm -hmm. I like. I have upstairs somewhere a comparison. I can get it if you want to show you, because they were the same bear. So <laughs> yeah. do you want me to go get that? Uh, no, no, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. but I mean, maybe we can no. send a picture or something. Yeah, but, we'll, we'll maybe have so a picture. It's very funny. I've compared them to when shown like my friends and stuff before, um, and they were kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> but I have three more left. All right, who's this? Um, all right, so this one is Gus. No, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> it's Phil. Phil. This is not Gus. This is Gus. This is Phil. They Gus, look like Phil. they're Gus. identical twins, practically. I mean, how, I don't... Yeah, okay, so Agent so, Agent Coulson, Phil Coulson. Um, I have a problem. Where did I get this one? I don't remember. <laughs> He's... <laughs> A recent one, isn't he? Oh yeah, um, for Teddy Bear Day, National Teddy Bear Day. Oh, that's right. I got, got I got that me. for you for so National Teddy his, Bear Day. On his, he is actually the same brand as Stripey is. Um, you can see it on the name tag. The Don't show my butt on the camera. The I'm little gun. Um, that's his, and then guns on this one too. So they're the same brand. Um, yep. Um, his original name was Philbin, but on the tag, but I really just liked Phil Philbin. alone. Philbin. So I Hello, just... Hello, Philbin. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, so I just named him <laughs> Phil. Um, he kind of, in this, like, you can kind of tell they're the same brand. They have similar, like, facial traits. Like, they look kind of the mm -hmm. same on their face. Oh, Like, yeah. the nose and the muzzle and the eyes look the, about the so same, just different Phil color. Phil and Stripey are... Identical twins. Got it. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the last two I have are Christmas bears. So I'm, I have lots of Christmas bears, but these are ones that mean a lot. So mm -hmm. this is Twinkle. Um, he's so cute. Um, he is pretty cute. He's a little brown bear. Um, so I named him Twinkle because a little twinkle in his eyes. Um, so yeah, I suppose. Um, that's mom. Mom came up with that idea, but um, I really like it. He actually does have a, another ear under his hat, which was funny. I thought. Um, but the thing is, this ear has red in it, and this ear doesn't have any red in it. So I was kind of confused as to why they didn't do that. But <laughs> don't show my deformities on the camera. I'm embarrassed. 
Oh, I see what you did there. I'm but yeah, this is Twinkle. I think I got him for Christmas one year. When you have mm -hmm. so many bears, you can't really remember where or when you got them all the time. Um, so. Yes, that one, I got you for Christmas because you really wanted... You saw them at the store, and oh, you yeah. really wanted one. Oh, yeah. I and, think I got this one in either 2018 or 2019 for Christmas. And so I finally got a chance to go back to the store without her to get it, and I couldn't find any more. They were all sold out. Oh, and yeah. then I, I I was looking around the area, and I found him sitting among the bags of potato chips. <laughs> and somebody just stuffed them in the wrong spot. And so I grabbed him, and uh, that was close. So Yeah, but that's really sweet. I am glad that you found him because he's very cute. Now, I say probably my dad's favorite bear. I like this one. Last. This is Buddy. I named him after Buddy the Elf. Mm -hmm. He is, because his little elf hat, he looks like an, a little bear elf. Mm -hmm. But he is crazy. Every night before I go to bed, he's like, Is that Christmas yet? Yeah! He's very crazy. <laughs> um, he sings jingle bells and drives the other bears crazy. Here, want to demonstrate? <clears throat> Hello, is this thing on? Hi, I'm Buddy the Bear. Me, 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 me. Okay, me, and let me, me let me explain the. Me, okay, me, me, me. I'll explain the me, 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 me <laughs> thing. Because when I was really young, probably like two, two, three, four, I came up with a, like just a word for my bears that they would say, and that was me. So I. So ever since then, my bears have just said, me, 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 me. They just go, me, me. And when they talk, they're like, me, me. <laughs> I like to do this to my dad is I'll have my bears ask them questions in this invented language that I created called bearish, which is the me, me, me language. <laughs> this is probably very confusing. <laughs> it's, it's purely but, a tonal language. <laughs> so, um, buddy will ask you a question. Me, me. Yes. Me, 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 me. It is not Christmas yet. Me, 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 me. <laughs> That's not what you said? Me, me. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> But yeah. it's not Christmas yet. Yeah, well, <laughs> so this is Buddy. He's very funny. Um, I got him in 2017 mm. for Christmas. Yep, so. and I can't remember if Mom bought that for you. I think you did. I don't or did remember. I? This is his punishment hook. <laughs> yes. But I don't like to do that to him because I don't want to torture so that's all i have with me right now but i have lots more but mm -hmm. well but, thank you for the uh the yeah now we have bears all over our kitchen floor so yep, yep. let me put them back so they don't get all dirty but... wait let me give me buddy i need buddy okay you can you can talk okay. while i do this Woo! all right well um buddy no stay down buddy he wants to, he wants to sing a song into the microphone <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. All right. So that's all for us today. Happy anniversary to us. We made it a year. <laughs> you can't see his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. And um, thank you for listening. We'll have Gracie back on. We might be doing more videos in the future. Someone's been bugging me to do those. Not me. You asked a few times. That counts as bugging. <laughs> All right. So everyone take care. Have a happy Christmas in July and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey. Is it Christmas yet? No. It, how about now? No. Or now? No. Or now? No. Or now? Or now? No. Or now? No. Be quiet, buddy. Yeah.